Hey guys, it's Amy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and subscribing. This has been a video I've been wanting to shoot for so long. It is my desk setup tour and I did break it into two portions because the video started to get quite long and I know I wouldn't sit through a 40 minute YouTube video on someone's desk setup. So hopefully I'm breaking it into smaller parts for you. So right now I'm just going to show the top portion of my desk and then I will tease you at the very end with my actual place where I keep pens and sticky notes. So thanks guys. Bye. Hey guys, it's Amy. So today I'm going to show you guys an overview of my desk setup. Um, I finally kind of have it in a place where I really like it. So I would like to share that with you. So here's an overview of it. So let's get a little bit more detailed. Let's start with the wall stuff. So I got this um, hob I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's just a cork board and it's just white edge with cork board and then has gold dots on it. Um, I really like that. Um, I thought it looked cute with my decor. It's supposed to hang on the wall, but I kind of don't like, I don't want to hang it because I want to be able to move it. So it's just leaning. You guys can see it's just leaning against the wall. But I got that at Hobby Lobby and it was actually on clearance for $35, I believe, which is a pretty good deal for how large it is. Um, and then let's move to here. I have had these prints for, oh gosh, since December of last year. <laughs> and I've been meaning to hang them. And as I'm looking at them, I realize that they're a little crooked, the bottom one particularly, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> Um, but I love the prints. I love the artwork on them. To me, it's almost like that top print reminds me of like what you should do and what you shouldn't do or good versus evil and how there's that constant struggle between it. And then I love this one. It's a girl's face with wings coming off of her hair and off her shoulders. And then that one is um, her hair is kind of matted and crazy and she has like a bird on her face. So... I liked them. I wanted black and white prints. The artist's name is Kate Baldonado. She's on Etsy. I'll link her down below. Um, I love her. She has some really amazing artwork. And how I found her was I got an Etsy email and they linked to her um, shop. And I went and visited that and I thought they were really great. So um, I'll link the prints that I got down below, but I love her artwork. Next, I have this print. And I'm so mad. I bought this mat. And I bought an 8 by 12 inch versus an 8 by 10. <laughs> so I had to come in here, and you guys probably can't tell, but I had to add a little bit of white paper. So um, I bought that frame at Michael's, and I got it when they had their buy one, get one free um, frames. And it was actually white, and I painted it, spray painted it gold, but I didn't let it dry, <laughs> which I kind of actually like it now. But it has all these little dents and stuff all over it, like the paint's flicking off. So... I like it. I think that it looks really well. I really wanted a quote and I bought a bunch of stuff from this Etsy shop and it says she designed a life she loved and um, I got another one and it's by Jacqueline Rose Design so I'll link that down below and then when I show you on my computer I also have another gold and white print and I got it from C.Love so I will link those down below. I really like them. But I just wanted some really cute gold art. Um, font on there. Now I haven't put a bunch of stuff on my cork board yet. I want to put a calendar up there and I want to put some pictures of my kids but I don't want to make it too crazy cluttery because my desk as you can see has a lot of stuff on it but I like it. Um, it kind of suits my my needs. Let's get started over here. So I have this mouse pad. I think I got it, got it from just staples. Oh there's a piece of paper in here. Oh it's just paper. Throw that in the trash. Um, so I have just this mouse pad I got, I believe, from my, or Office Depot or Staples. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay, not coming. Um, and then I just have, I've had this mouse for like three years. Just a wireless one. It's pink. It looks kind of red, but it's pink. Um, and then I have, I'm so mad, you guys. I bought a candle that smelled, smells amazing, and I got it at Target. <laughs> and I can't find it. I'm sure one of my kids picked it up and moved it. Um, so that is just a candle from Bath and Body Works. Um, it's just white. I think it's like mahogany teak wood or something. Um, and then I got this at Michael's recently. And I love this. It was actually white and I painted it gold. Um, and I like to put just notes of gratitude or anything in here that I feel 
I want to look at from time to time. So there's some thank you notes in there. And then he left the little crystal. This is really out of focus. Hold on. So I got this at um, Michael's and it was 40% off. I can't remember. It's like Anne something designs. But it was matte white and I painted it gold. Um, I think on the bottom. Oh, I painted the bottom too. But it was matte gold and it has like clear little bird on top. But I like to leave notes in here that like thank you notes or things that really mean a lot to me that I want to look at from time to time. So I put in here. I initially was going to put a bunch of post-it notes in here. I actually have another bird cage. I love bird cages lately. So I have another one that I don't have on my desk right now, but I usually keep tons and tons of post-its in it. But when we get down to my desk version down here, I'll show you. But that's normally where I keep them at. But for right now, I just have some notes of gratitude just to remind me every day um, to be thankful for the things that I have and friends that I have. So these flowers are actually from my garden downstairs. And they usually go on our kitchen table, but I thought they looked pretty up here, so I moved them. So we have some really pretty um, pink and red and white roses outside. Um, I have this lamp from Ikea. I've been looking for a couple days for a new lamp. We've had it since we got married, like oh, almost nine years ago I got married. And so I want to get a new one. <laughs> Shows you how long Ikea stuff lasts. Um, but I want to get a new one. I just haven't found one that I like, so that's what I have now. And then I just have my Disneyland lanyard, and I love Disneyland. It's kind of like the most favorite place ever. Um, I spent my birthday there in 2012, and every year we kind of add a couple pins to it. So we try to go once a year. We live in Arizona, so Disneyland is only like a five and a half, six hour drive. So we try to go pretty often. Um, so I like to leave that there because my husband on his desk has his hanging from his lamp, and my daughter and son like to look at it. So I thought that'd be fun to have. Now, I've been debating and showing you guys my pen storage. And I think I'm going to because now I'm looking over at it and I'm like, I have to show it. <laughs> and maybe I'll do like a review on those too. But I like to keep this. Um, I like to keep them separated. So I have um, highlighters and scissors here. And then I have my Fitbit charger here because I constantly need to charge my Fitbit. And then I have just an X-Acto knife here because I use that for sometimes for my planner. Actually, this should go somewhere else. I'm going to go move that. Um, and then I have just the pens that I am loving right now. Um, here and I got this and it's by the same girl that makes these designs but this again was like this dirty brown gray color and I just painted it gold I've been really into gold lately so I painted it gold um, and then it has these removable um, has these removable baskets in them or excuse me glass I can't get it out but you guys can see that um, kind of stuck in there so I got that and I painted it gold and then I like to keep my Erin Condren um, I'm not going to flip it around because it has my name on it, but um, I like to keep my Erin Condren kind of planner holder up here because sometimes I do stick it in my purse and when I'm working on it. So today I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just going to leave it up here. But this is what I'm using right now. Um, I am going to do a tutorial on these bow makers. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I learned them about another channel, so I'm going to link to her channel to get the PDF, but I'm going to do a review on that. I also have... Right here is like my to-do file, so it's like things that I need to do. And this is like all over a bunch of family members' addresses that I've gotten over the years. I just need to put them into an Excel and print it out so I have an updated list. I have a folder for bills, and then I have a folder for medical bills. So I just used some washi tape on here and then wrote with Sharpie. You can't tell, and I'm really sad, but it says, have courage, there you go, have courage and be kind. We just saw the Cinderella movie, and I loved it. So that is from C Dot Designs on Etsy. I'll link to her page too. Um, you can print that. Um, it's really large. Like you can get like 11 by 20 inch print of that. Um, but I liked it on my desktop. You can download the PDF and use it anywhere and upload it anywhere. So that's what I use. I use a MacBook Pro. Um, I think it's a 15 inch. And I have had that since probably... It was before I had my daughter and she was born in 2010. So I've had it for five years. My goal is to get a new computer this year, and I really want a, not a laptop. As much as I thought I would use a laptop, I actually don't ever take it anywhere. So actually just, it just stays on my desk. I think I'm just going to get a desktop. I think I'm going to get like the 20 inch um, um, iMac. Um, so I had a 17 inch iMac prior to my laptop, and I loved it. Let's get into talking about my planner stuff, and then we'll jump down, and I'll put you guys on a tripod. A tripod on a tripod and I'll put you guys down here so you can go through each of my drawers but let's talk about this so I am obsessed with owls and as you guys start to learn and know me you will learn that um I am obsessed so I have owls everywhere um this is just two out of like 50 little you know 
knickknack things that I have. So you guys will see those from time to time in videos. Um, when we moved into our new house, we had a spare room, and I was just like, I really want to have a place for all my owls, but then I put them all out, and there's not really unity to them, so I kind of just have a couple out at a time. So, um, I got this at Michael's. Again, I got it. It's the same girl that does the two other birdhouses in the little pen holder that I have. So, in here, I just have a couple things. It's just pink and gold, and I love it. Oh, I'll tell you the name of the girl. It's, oh, Ashland Signature Accents. Last week at Michael's, they had a 40% off sale, so I kind of went crazy and bought stuff. Um, these are my precision scissors. If you watch Paper and Glam, she talks about these scissors all the time. I've had my pair for probably just as long as she's had hers. They're starting to get real dingy, but I love these. Um, I use these scissors quite a lot. Um, so that's in here. I have a um, hole puncher so that I can put stuff into my planner. And then I have two kinds of super glue. I have crazy glue, and then I have this... Um, like super glue, like it's a pigment stuff. Um, I think in here also, and I have these little tab things that if you don't want to buy the Erin Condren really expensive ones to put stuff in the little tabs to attach stuff into your quail, you can just make your own. So that's why I have these in here. I have a um, an owl, and it's actually a candle with like a tea light holder. You put a tea light in here. But I actually liked, um, I like the color of it and I painted it gold, but then I have my... Um, Oh gosh, my smash book pen. Um, and it just, it's a pen on one side and glue on the other. I like to attach like movie tickets and stuff like that to um, to my Erin Condren planner. So that's where I have this in here. And actually, this is by the same company, Ashland Signature Collection. This is an owl. I was going to paint this gold, but I loved it too much. I didn't want to paint it. I like the design on it. I think it looks pretty, especially since my desktop on my computer is desktop on my computer is white and the corkboard has a white trim and I liked it so this has all of my pens in it if you guys don't have these pens they're by Statler but I have two sets of the regular colors and then if you look in here I have some of the darker colors like the purples and here's a brown in here so I have some of the darker colors in here too but I thought I really liked these for my planner, but I'm going to be completely honest, and some people do like them. I do not like writing with these in my planner, but on like notebook paper, if I'm taking notes really quick, I like to have. And then I have, take this out, and then I just have this apothecary jar that has all of my washi tape in it. Um, and I've just slowly have an addiction to washi tape lately. So here's my washi collection, my washi tape collection. Sorry guys, my strap on my camera is just, I need to take it off because I don't ever, <laughs> you take it off. Um, but I have just some in here. I just got some really cute ones from Air Heidi Swap. I think these are like chalkboard ones. You can write on chalkboard, chalk with them. Um, and these arrow ones are just adorable. And I have a whole bunch and then I love this little glittery one. This little sparkly one that I got. I think I got it at Office Max. And I have some that say, it says I love this. So this one says, but like I said, I have a whole bunch of like bright pink ones. I have flowers, I have polka dots, um, kind of go with the season. So that is how I, I'm going to have to get a bigger one because this one is almost full. So I'm going to have to get a bigger one of that. I just bought this this weekend. It was a bit pricey, but I definitely think it's worth it for what I'm going to use it for. So I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it has 3, 6, 9, 12 little containers, and they vary in length. I was having a really hard time struggling with how I was going to keep all my stickers in front of me because it gets to the point where you get so many that you can't tell what you have. And so I started to realize I needed a better organization. I used to keep them, and I'll show you guys when I go down to the, my desk drawers. I used to keep them in this little plastic, like, Ziploc container that I got from the container store. And I just didn't like it. I couldn't visually see what I had. And I wanted to organize them so that I could see what I have. So I found this after looking for about a month now. I found this, and I loved it. So I went through and added this really cute um, little garland. Um, little hearts banner. I had this from Valentine's Day. I was actually going to decorate my kids' rooms with that, but then I decided not to. And then I found it when I was kind of putting all this together, and I thought, oh my gosh, that'd be perfect to kind of hide these little brackets here. But I love these brackets because it actually, at first I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a waste of space. What am I going to do? But then I found these, and I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I can stick them in here. And they don't fit very many, but they fit. And then I have a bunch of like the Erin Condren 
um, stickers that come pre-printed with text on there and I was like you know some of them only have like you know two or three only give you like five or six of the ones like sale and doc appointment and concert and stuff like that and those were gonna get lost in these little shallow um, cubbies so I just put them in there and I thought that worked perfect so I put those so I was able to utilize that space let's look in the drawers so in the drawers let's open both of them I got these little um, matchbox notepads. I got them at Target, I think, and they're sticky and you can rip them out. So I use those when something in my calendar about your encounter planner is tentative, it's not confirmed yet. I don't like to write it in there until I know I'm going uh, or if it's like a doctor appointment or something. So I have these in here and there's all different colors. Um, I think I have like pink and all different colors. Um, I have my Erin Condren planner sleeve, the little elastic that comes with. And I just bought these. I've only used them in my calendar a couple times, but they're um, little cardboard um, pieces. But I put them through my um, sticker maker and make stickers out of them. So I thought they're cute. And you can even attach a paper clip to them and make them page flags. So I did that. And then I have extra of the little to-do lists. Um, and I'll link the Etsy shop of where I got these. I can't remember her name right now, and I feel so bad because it's so crappy when you're like showing somebody stuff and you can't say who they are. So I apologize for that in advance. Um, I know these are Heidi Swap because I just bought these. They're little paper clips. We have another set of them here. And then I think these are Heidi Swap too. So Heidi Swap just came out with like a planner edition. It's at Michael's. Um, so she had some cute stickers that I loved. So I just got those. But those go in here and I don't want them to get lost in the cubbies. So all of that goes in there. But I like that these have lots of room to fill stuff up with. But here's the problem that I find um, with this is I have a feeling I will just throw stuff in there. And then I will never use the stuff because I won't be able to see what's in there. So I like to visually see what I have. So that's what's in that one. And then here's that Kate Maldonado. Um, I keep her business card here in case I ever wanted to buy more stuff from her. So here's her business card. Um, I get some custom labels made for like address labels from this shop. It's maggiestoller.etsy.com. She's amazing. I'll show you her stickers here in a minute, but I use them for address labels. Um, and then I got, you know, there's my Erin Condren. Little stickers that you get with your planner. And there's tons in here. And then I have um, I got this at the container store. Paper and Glam talked about them on her channel, so of course I had to go get them. But they're little cute planner stickers. They're little cute planner stickers, so um, I like to use them. But again, they don't fit in any of these cubbies up here, so I just moved it down here. Um, and then I got these at the dollar store. They're so cute. They're like runner tape, but they say things on them. Like this one, I think, ha oh yeah, this one has arrows on it, if you can see. So this one has arrows, and then this one says happy birthday. So I use it to put in my planner instead of putting a sticker. So I have that. And then I just have um, my little Tombow adhesive that I use. All right, so let's talk about each one of these. So I'm gonna just quickly go through. I use two Etsy shops. One's Carolina Crafts, and the other one I think is Scribble Prints Co. So um, I'll link all of those down below. I need to look and confirm. But I wanna show you guys. So this is the bow tutorial that I'm gonna do a video on. Um, that I have the bow pattern over there that you guys saw. So it's from um, a really awesome girl on YouTube. So I'm gonna link that down below, but it's for your planner. Um, you can kind of attach them here. So I'll show that to you guys and link that down below. But I have these, I got them at Michael's. They're just little post-it notes. The only thing about these is they're, they're really adhesive. And so when you rip them from here, they almost peel up at the edges down here. So it's not very good. They don't stick very well. I usually have to take my Tombow and put them down. But I have a bunch of my um, Paper and Glam stickers that I have here that I made. Put this one back. I got this on clearance for 24 cents <laughs> at Michael's the other day. Um, and it's just really cute. It's lists and have some owl stickers back here. And then here I have some Heidi Swap stickers that I really, really loved. And then I got just some stickers at, um, I got some really cute stickers at Hobby Lobby. I really like these, they kind of have, I like the design of them, they have arrows and stuff. Um, so those are cute. And then here's some Carolina Crafts, they say weekend. Um, so I had to cut them down, so those are there. And then here I have some more, yeah, these are Carolina Crafts, I believe. Their little cell phones and then I have for Valentine's Day I have these little stickers um, more up here I just have the Erin Condren pre-made stickers here here and then I have the list and list um, okay and then I have my hard drive which I need to take out I have my hard drive here for my computer and then I have these stickers that I got at Target in the dollar section they're really cute they're just clear 
a little clear blue teal and then i have some of these these are from scribble prints co i think please correct me if i'm wrong but they're little coffee cups i have a little mani petty there looks like there's something else in here nope mani petty more Erin Condren of the blank ones and then more of the longer ones that are pre-made. And then I have from Carolina Crafts, I have the airplane stickers. I got these because with my current job, I travel a lot. And so I wanted little um, stickers to put in there. I have little grocery carts, little glasses. And I just got these at Hobby Lobby. I want to use them for my son when he has doctor appointments and things. They're cute little whales. And I have the money function the money stickers and then here i have these heidi swap gold stickers i'm really into gold right now so i have these gold stickers that i loved and then i have more paper and glam things that i printed for my pdf um and then just some personal ones that i pulled off pinterest um that i pulled and then printed and i just need to make stickers out of them yay you made it 21 minutes god bless you uh so here's a teaser for next week please let me know um, if you guys like this video and if you want to see more. And thanks for watching. Bye.